Close your eyes and focus on the breath. No one is coming in, no one's going out. And try to keep your focus as steady and solid as possible. Think of your mind being like Earth. Earth doesn't move, it's large, it's not affected by things. If you throw disgusting things on the Earth, the Earth doesn't get disgusted. If you throw wonderful things on the Earth, the Earth doesn't rise up to meet them. You want to develop that quality of the mind, where the mind is really solid. And this is the way the mind gains strength, giving it something really solid to stay with. The breath may not seem solid, but it's always there. It's continuous throughout time. And you, the quality of your focus, the quality of your mindfulness and alertness, you want that to be solid. Because it's only when the mind is solid that it's really strong. And when, only when it's strong can it really have goodwill for itself, or actually express its goodwill for itself and for other people. When the mind feels weak and threatened, it's very hard to feel goodwill for other people, the ones, especially the ones you feel threatened by. But when you have a sense that your mind is large and solid, then the things that other people do seem very small. So make sure that the events of the world are small and your mind is large. This is an image the Buddha gives many, many times. He says it's like the river Ganges. Someone comes with a torch to burn up the river Ganges and it's not going to succeed because there's so much water. Or it's like the earth. Someone comes along, tries to dig in the earth, and tries to make the earth be without earth. Tries to spit here and urinate there. The earth will not be without earth. It's just so much larger. And it's interesting that the Buddha uses this image of the large earth not only as an image of strength, but also as an image of goodwill. You want your goodwill to be that solid. In other words, people can do all kinds of outrageous things, and you still have goodwill for them. You don't wish them ill. You don't want them to suffer. If you see they're doing something that's really harmful, you feel compassion for them. If you see they're already happy, okay, you, may their happiness continue, may they give rise to the causes for true happiness. That way your mind is larger than the events of the world, and then you don't get pushed around by things. As the Buddha said, there are basically two kinds of speech in the world, good speech and bad speech. That some things are true, some things are false, sometimes people mean well, sometimes they don't mean well, sometimes they're kind, sometimes they're harsh. But that's just the way of the world, that's the way speech is. You're supposed to think of it in those terms. Okay, that's just one more instance of human speech. Something really nasty comes along, well that's just human speech. Make your mind larger than the speech. If your mind is really small, in other words, easily moved around by things, all it takes is one or two words and you're already in a bad mood. But if the mind is much larger, you can be in a much more forgiving mood. This may be one of the reasons why the, the word for forgiveness in Pali is the same as the word for the earth, come on. Kama means earth, but it also means forgiveness. So you want your forgiveness to have that kind of quality. It's solid, it's sure. It's not moved around by other people's actions. Because you don't want your goodness to depend, to depend on their goodness. Because look at what their goodness is like. It comes and goes, it's up and down. If your goodness is dependent on theirs, you're just part of the ocean, just washing around. You want to be solid land. So that no matter whether the tide rises or the tide falls, you're solidly in place. Your goodness is solidly in place. So what you do and say and think will always come from good intentions, from skillful intentions. That's the kind of solidity you want in your mind. So try to develop that, making your mindfulness solid, your alertness solid. Learn now not to place undue burdens on yourself. And think of the mind as being much larger than anything that can happen to it. That way your goodness is more reliable. <laughs>